finally have a conclusion regarding Nike and Warren Lotus. They've reached a confidential um, settlement regarding uh, the lawsuit. Of course, Nike was suing Rowan, Warren Lotus for putting together these bullshit ass um, Nike dunks that he was um, selling um, as some sort of edit and custom and homage to you know the iconic pigeon dunk. And for some odd reason, Jeff Staple decided to uh, co-sign it and down the hill with Warren Lotus, which eventually led to his excommunication from Nike, which has been greatly received for myself. Which I because I think he's an untalented hack who's been you know riding the back of the pigeon dunk success for the best part of 10 plus years he has no new original ideas he's not a core innovative thinker and he's just somebody who has effectively been able to game the system because he's older than everyone right just because you hang around longer and you're around in the scene doesn't mean essentially that you actually know what you're talking about in my opinion so this is an article here from Complex. It says, Nike v. Warren Lotus legal battle appears to reach a confidential settlement uh, written by Brendan Dune. It says the following, Nike's trademark infringement lawsuit against Los Angeles-based designer, designer, ha, Warren Lotus appears to have reached a confidential settlement agreement according to a court documents filed on Friday. The lawsuit filed in the Central Court of California in October accused Lotus of selling illegal fakes of Nike's iconic dunk sneakers. In the unsigned final judgment, the court um, upheld the Nike trademark around the shoe as enforceable all the loaders to refrain from selling the range of products that he made to look like nikes and he didn't make them what he did is that he he bought he bought um he he went out and sourced a factory because i guess they're not available just yet but there's a there were factories in the background who are now making um you know um dead stock nike dunk sbs right uh, basically fakes and he basically reached out to a factory and got them to remake the pigeon dunk, which is one of the most coveted dunks out there, maybe alongside the night, the, maybe the London dunk. Um, and he basically wanted to get them redone by this factory and then slap his logo on the side. But the way he sold it to his customers or to the public in general was that he was building or retooling from the ground up a Nike pigeon dunk that he bought himself from his own collection at an Italian factory somewhere with the premium, premium quality materials as a sort of, reminder as of the quality that nike once had and also basically as a middle finger back up to the brand right which again i'm not really sold on i think it's a bullshit excuse you know the same way how i don't think you know i think maybe the the shoe surgeon has probably more talent in his left toe and he does the same thing again and again right python and lizard print leather on jordans whatever they may be but he actually the de um disassembles a shoe takes it apart um you know re redesigns the panels and builds it from the ground up right and kind of redoes the whole thing um from scratch so this guy just buying fakes and slapping his logo on the side isn't what he sold so he immediately misled the customers that were even purchasing his thing and he didn't have them to stock right they weren't even to hand he just took loads of pre-orders and pocketed most of the money and then i've guess spent maybe 20 percent of it if that on the shoes in china so it was a complete horror of a situation the fact that he thought he could get away with it was just insane but you know he continues a spokesperson for lotus confirms with complex today that the lawsuit has been resolved through a settlement declined to comment further i wonder how much he had to pay nike did not respond to a request to comment either that's the original pair there i guess signed by jeff Sapo himself the same shoe he's been he's been riding his shoe for the to the dirt don't get me wrong good colorway good idea but the amount of times he tells the story of the cues and the fights and the police like shut the fuck up man untalented hack but it continues um the the lotus dunk lookalike sneaker that gained popularity and notoriety in the last year was a significant source of venture of revenue sorry for the designer who sold over 10 million dollars worth of them right pre-sale but no one's even i don't think no one's even got a pair yet from what i have understood um it's all just you know hypothetical i think he was selling them for like 300 dollars each 10 million pounds worth it's just insane um the shoes copied let's say how many do you sell pairs if you're selling for 300 dollars because my my uh maths is terrible uh 300 times what 100 you sell 100 pairs nope um 300 times uh, 500 pairs nope 300 times how many shoes did you sell to get 10 million did you sell a million of these shoes or do you sell 250,000 let's see 250,000 uh let's see times 250 did you sell that that might make more sense god damn it yeah most probably something on those kind of lines right uh no let's see hundred thousand probably in it 300 times one hundred thousand. is that how many you sold yeah probably around that mark or maybe just a bit under maybe fifty thousand. right let's see that fifty thousand. my math again isn't good so 300 times was that ten thousand no ten thousand yeah ten thousand 
of 100,000. Yes, he sold maybe, maybe, that's insane. That's insane the amount of shoes he sold. <laughs> Again, I haven't worked it out, so don't don't laugh. But anyway, continues. <laughs> After Nike sued from this fall, Lotus tried to give customers who pre-ordered his recent shoes a replacement in the form of a new shoe called the Reaper, which was even worse, right? He's defended this right to distribute the sneaker, which looks significantly less like a dunk, but still shares the overall shape of the Nike shoe. The proposed uh, permanent injunction on the Lotus case bars him from selling a host of Nike S items, but the Reaper shoe is not among them. So he's been able to get away with selling this absolute dog shit shoe that he's selling called the Reaper, which looks fucking horrendous. It looks like something that you would have bought in Dawson Market, right? It's just terrible for someone that equates himself to be a designer that that looks legitimately bad like all the way bad and again it's a photoshop like he's he's pocketed 10 million dollars right of pre-sale and he can't even be bothered to make something just from like a local factory somewhere just to kind of get it specced up so people can see what it looks like and so he can basically sell that story of him being a designer and kind of crafting them from the ground up from an Italian factory that would go a long way in terms of kind of legitimizing his design credentials why don't you make one of these shoes yourself right why don't you make them by hand and see how difficult it is to make because again he's not creative he doesn't have any original ideas just copies what brands have ever done just slaps his logo on the side but again he could earn a lot of goodwill a lot of kind of understanding as a designer for you to go out and actually make it like if you zoom in here you probably still see this nike swoosh on the tongue in it i bet you right if you zoom in you can't zoom in any further but i bet there's still a nike swoosh here somewhere you could definitely still see but look at that look how shit that looks it's a fucking photoshop it's a fucking photoshop you can see all the blemishes and smudges all over it i know a photoshop when i see one so ugh. but again lucky they've been able to do that and for the customers i guess it's good if you bought a pair if you bought a pair of shoes from him then you probably deserve to get scammed in my opinion but hey um he's defended his right to distribute them da, 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 da. lotus indicated that he will continue to sell the reaper shoe in an instagram post on friday showing an upcoming clean slate color of course he will what else has he got to do he can, it's the only thing he can do isn't it um i plan to walk you through the process of making these shoes so there's a complete transparency and goes in his pair okay so he's going to show us the the chat the the, the, the Fang Zhu factory he goes to make them in. Says, yeah, Nike confirms the complex a lawsuit have resolved by our sentiment with designer. But again, an absolutely uh, disastrous end, you know, maybe a beneficial end for myself because I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of Jeff Staple. So Jeff Staple loses his Nike contact. Warren Lotus gets called out and gets exposed as a charlatan of a designer that he is. And in general, we keep on moving. So good to see that conclusion being reached. I wonder how much he has to pay in order to kind of reach a settlement. Do you have to, is that what you do when you reach a settlement? Someone sues you, right? You probably pay the person that's suing you probably to kind of make sure this goes away or you maybe commit to burning stuff. I don't know what happened, but regardless, glad to see that has been resolved in some way going forward.